question for you. Think before you answer. How long and what contains a good password? I asked this question a couple of times in the last workshops and this is something very obvious to me, but not that obvious to many people. Many people answer minimum eight, like length, letter length, and then different like icons, small, big, and so on. And this is much better than the answer that you had with Jimmy Kimmel who asked people on the street. What is one of your online passwords currently? It is my dog's name and the year I graduated from high school. Oh, what kind of dog do you have? I have a Chihuahua Papillon. And what's its name? Jameson. Jameson. And where'd you go to school? Um, I went to school back in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. What school? Uh, Hempfield Area Senior High School. Oh, when did you graduate? In 2009. Oh, great. <laughs> this is really bad, but eight and different things is not important. There's only one thing one thing that matters for a good password, and that's size. And the minimum length we are using internally, company internally, is 15, because it takes much longer to crack a 15 letter password. But now people say, oh, this is crazy, I cannot uh, keep that in mind. You don't need to keep in mind different letters and all that stuff. Let's say 20 or 30 letters long, but you have words, it's like a sentence, that you can remind quite easily. It's by far better, exponentially better than eight with different signs and icons. So you just keep in mind, the only thing that matters is size matters and for a good password. And if you can use something that you can keep in mind quite easily, like a sentence, it shouldn't be this, the first words of Harry Potter or something, because like this is quite easy to crack or brute force egg, but something that you can remember, this is far better than anything else. If you're annoyed that you have to keep it in mind for all different apps, of course you can like use like an encrypted password app, like one password for example, this is encrypted locally on your device, and the master password is this 30 length thing, and then you have your fingerprint or whatever to like encrypt this master password and all the other passwords connected, because this app can generate random long passwords. This really helps them and that's how you keep it in mind. And don't forget, whenever you have an app and it enables you with two-factor authentication, which is, which is technically like the condom of the internet, then use that. This makes it much more secure. That's this thing when you receive a message here. Just a quick one. You guys know I like to keep this stuff very simple and easy, that's why I keep it short. But if you want to learn more about that, we link some sources below or here in the video, I don't know where exactly. Thanks to my tech team, they shared it with me because we discussed it internally. And what else? Well, don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys next week.